in. So let's jump in mm -hmm. and see where they end up once they start locking in their picks. Um, mm -hmm. our, yeah, so if you're new to you're going with Greedon. Mm, you love to see it. <laughs> yeah, a fluffy tail Greedon with that. Buddy Barrier, Score Shield, Attack Weight. Classic top lane scoring situation. I'm interested to see what Muck is going to opt in for this jungle. Also, Rex is currently on that Gengar. Oh, okay, they were just teasing <laughs> me. They were just, okay, so now we're a real MOBA. Now we're a real MOBA where players can hint at one character. They can hover and then move off. So good to see. But okay, Muck opting into the Cinderace. This play, this character has come back into fashion for sure. Running that scope, uh, scope muscle, and buddy. Going to be going for that high high crit damage, uh, opting to not go into the jungle with the Dragonite. Big Uzi choosing that character, though, opting to have that huge smite potential. Uh, so right now, Aphelion doesn't have any character that is amazing at getting those last hits on bosses. Muck going to have to make do with the Pyro Ball or that Blazing Bicycle Kick, that Cinderace Ultimate. Uh, I love the top hat duo between Rex and our trio there. Uh, it's, <laughs> and of course, the Greedon is something to to be excited about. And so is the potion on Slowbro. Uh, a lot of people mm. don't get ginned up for that, but I sure do because the potion is historically a hallmark of somebody that is new to the game. Uh, but not today, <laughs> as these top teams have found value in that first item that you are handed when you kick uh, when you when you fire up the game and do your normal progression through. Excellent on this the uh, on the Snorlax. You have to be excited about yes. that big Snorlax so fan yourself. Oh, I am so excited, and I honestly think that this is Excellent's best hero, so this is going to be an really interesting pick. Blackbeard opting to run the new and improved Slow Smoke on Eldegoss. Really interesting. Not going to be giving them any versatility in terms of escaping, but to give them a nice engage tool, especially on that first Autono. Really clever play. For people that tune into Aphelion streams, Aphelion team member streams, they are not afraid to start new stuff in tournaments. Uh, no, having, not just at giving all. A, a little bit of a whirl and not necessarily sticking to what they're comfortable with, but really pushing the limits of the new patch uh, patch notes as they roll out. Of course, yeah. we see that green rolling up top, attack weight going in, and our trio not uh, not akin to sticking around too long once they get their points in and until their attack weight is kicked all the way up. Mm -hmm. Yep, Greedent just doing what it needs to do, being annoying and making sure that points are on your side of the scoreboard. Both junglers in this top lane for this first set of beasts, a very important one for Uzi, needs to get as many of these as possible. And look at our tree, bullying, giving Muck the space they need to get some of those bees in the middle. That boy Muck flow into the middle, getting chased by the Lucario. And that power-up punch is coming through here as they are <laughs> able to snatch that core fish and go back into the top lane. Back to the bottom lane, though, as the pressure of Aphelion is just being too much here as they're being forced back, forcing back Ascendance in the bottom lane. Yeah, yeah, but they have some tools of their own. Excellent using that rest to get those heals. And Kirito's caught a little bit out here. Rex is pushing in. Blackbeard not able to find an angle to use that slow smoke. They're working on Excellent. Excellent just slowly making their way back to the goal zone, mm -hmm. which opens up this small window to take this Audino in the face of Ascendance. Yeah, this bot lane is really even distribution in terms of levels on either side. Uh, honestly, this first Dreadnought is going to decide a lot of the game. A nice even standpoint, but the situation could get hairy uh, whatever direction this decides to go. Muck squaring off in this bush trying to find maybe someone who goes in for a top lane score. But right now, uh, Ascendance has two people in that top lane. I really want to point out the Ivysaur on one side, the Bulbasaur on the other, mm -hmm. and that's going to allow Red Love to be able to pressure a little bit harder than their counterpart across the way. Muck and Atreyu, Atreyu working very well together, putting the pressure on to uh, Big Uzi, and oh. they're working through, and they're able to take the KO in tandem here, and now they're putting the pressure back on the Lucario, who's forced to retreat and start their way downstairs early for this Dreadnought that's coming in a couple moments. Yeah, really nice moves from Aphelion, putting that pressure. Not to remember, Greedent has the incredible amount of survivability and mobility, but they also have the survivability and was able to use that and the little bit of CC knockup that they have to make that a losing situation for Big Uzi. Aphelion all over this Dreadnought. They're going to try and bubble out Excellent, Krios, and Mopwop here as that's a heavy oh, wow. slam coming in, but Muck is able to take it. You said they didn't have a lot of smite ability. Muck says, I'll show you something, kid. Fireballs kick <laughs> through the middle as now the teams are working through each other. Red Love's on the edge. But that uh, 
Petal Dance is doing work, and a KO by the Dragonite finally hits the scene, able to eat up Red Love and put the pressure back the other way. Overlord on the edge of going down there, getting <laughs> chip shot and taken out by Rex, who finds their way back into the goal zone, getting supported by Blackbeard, as they're going to try and hold it down the face of four players here from Ascendance, able to push him all the way back, Mop Wop needing to scramble, Big Uzi finding a way on a Hyper Beam, Heavy <laughs> Slam onto the Eldegoss, and that He's is one back. crushed Cotton Ball, as they're able to chip in, and Rex still trying to hold it down with the Surf's in the goal zone, Red Love in the action now. And now they're able to pressure and put the pressure back on that Dragonite, send them reeling. Big Uzi not willing to give up. Another surf the other way. And now it's excellent being worked on by Red Love as the pressure keeps to go. And there's a block to allow the eight, the gate to just allow them to retreat as now the players are all over the map. And the bottom <laughs> lane is finally settling down. Yeah, what a slap fight that was. Uh, a lot of levels going in exchange. Big Uzi able to get a couple of KOs, which is really pivotal for keeping their experience up with that with of of uh, of Dap Boy Muck. Uh, going to be giving them a little bit, not of an advantage, but just staying even. Excellent caught in a little bit of a dangerous situation here. Has to use block, but <laughs> yeah, the Unite move, but a Rex is going to deal with that. That sorts that out real quick as mm -hmm. all of Aphelion is able to stay up in that exchange there, and it looked dire for a moment. KO Streak a two for the slow, bro. Let's go. Tank my butt. We're getting them in the action. You know what? I'm not a tank. <laughs> I'm a howitzer, baby. Coming for you, burning holes through your chest. Let's go. Yeah, that boy Muck opting into that Blaze Kick as well instead of the Pyro Ball. So even then is going to be choosing a different Smite option. So even more impressive that they were able to out uh, auto attack an Overlord Power Up Punch. So really nice maneuver there. Okay, nice Power Up Punch to engage though here. Uh, Greedon already almost deleted. Yeah, that one really quick in the combination of excellent. They decide to back off now that the Dreadnought's here and allowing our Treyu to get back into the action. KO Shrink a two for Dap Boy Muck. They're feeling it on the sticks, kicking balls like Freddy Adu, and that's an early 90s reference as we're working <laughs> through. And all of Orange is putting the pressure on. That's another KO on Overlord for Red Love. And although they're the bottom lane attacker and not supposed to be the carry, they certainly doing work in this bottom lane as the mm -hmm. Eldegoss closes out the Dreadnought. And Aphelion has to be feeling really good in their position in the game, up by 100. Hundo on the nose. <laughs> Of course, I yeah. say that, and there's 30 yeah. points. Yeah, <laughs> they score immediately. Yeah, huge plays out of Blackbeard and Red Love there to keep that advantage really nice. Finding a ton of KOs and having to sweep back and forth across that Dreadnought pit. That presence of mind and awareness around the entire section of the map is not easy to do. So really well done to be able to find those KOs where they needed to and capitalize. That is why the game advantage is going in their favor right now. Overlord going to have to be 1v1ing a row, Tom? Oh, no, but Obstin is trying to steal a little bit of farm from the Greedon. Well, you Tired of them moved, in their jungle. Unite move from our Treyu right onto the goal zone, able to come in and start using and chipping in with those uh, belches, baby. Able to make <laughs> it out and try to escort that Rotom in. It is it's just on the edge of finding its way. Cryos and Overlord trying to take that Rotom out before it can do too much goal zone based damage. Rex running through the middle and our Treyu working through as Red Love is farming up. No objectives yeah. on the map yet. Get your levels up. Get your night moves up because we're going to square off here in a few moments. I was going to say, Red Love desperately looking. They need that 13, but Curios needing it even more. Not even quite at that level 12. Having a rougher bottom lane needs to try to catch up if they're going to be facing off against a level 13 Venusaur. That Giga Drain and Petal Dance does so much work when they hit that level spike. Our Triu bullying a little bit. Finally, the Venusaur up there trying to level up full pockets of 50. And Blackbeard, Rex, and Red Love working on excellent. Oh. And the Snorlax is beefy, but I don't know if it can handle this three-on-one as they're just scrambling around trying to leash. Red Love gets the final KO. And now our Treyu suits up with the squad as they're moving as a unit of four. Just Muck holding down the bottom lane against two players uh, as Eldegoss mm -hmm. is getting points in down there. Overlord as well, closing out that goal zone. Finally, Dreadnought in three seconds. Jordan on three seconds and a tie game in the situation. Right now, only Mopwop showing presence early, but now Rex decides to start ripping the Drena with the Surf. Not exactly the fastest one in the game, but with all of the of all of Ophelion Esports here, uh, right now Ascendance opts to just leap and take pressure on the Zap Pit. 
Yeah, absolutely. Ascendants not even making their way to that as Aphelion got that Dreadnought uncontested here. And Aphelion going to posture around Zapdos as it's a tie ball game on the nose. We got to watch for back caps. We got to watch for strategic engages here. And the first one comes our Treyu on uh, the Eldegoss. And now they're moving as a team. And they're trying to chase down. Excellent as the action is picking up a little bit. Red Love leading the charge. And that's Unite move by Excellent right in the middle to pick up the squad here. The Unite moves are flying, but not in the pit. Right on the opposite side here on Ascendant side of the field. And now Excellent and Overlord are on. They're getting chased. And our Treyu's coming in with the belches <laughs> all over the place. Look at that speed, baby. And they're yeah. getting into the action here as there's two players down on Ascendance. One player down on Aphelion. That's that boy Muck that wants to get back in the action. KO Streak, a two for Rex. Who is this slow bro? How can they <laughs> contain it? Overlord Mopwop getting chased by Red Love and Artreyu. And the pressure is relentless here as Red Love gets another KO. And Red Love is working on Overlord who is just forced to retreat. Comes back in with a bone rush and E speed. But KO Streak, a two for the big old dinosaur having a feast. You know what? I thought Venusaur might be a, a, um, a vegetarian, an omnivore, but it is a carnivore this evening. <laughs> Absolutely. Aos Island hitting different for the Venusaur diet. Going to be trying to find every KO it possibly can. Right now, Aphelion has uh, still this tie game, but they have the Zapdos pit presence. They This is an incredibly close game, but right now, Arteu going for that 50 bomb up top. Score shield not going to be long because Overlord deals out a spike of damage. Yeah, that E-speed coming through, doing work, and able to stop those scores from going in here. It is still a tie ball game. They are scrapping against each other. Look at that big block isolating out two players from Aphelion. That boy Monk makes it through. Excellent getting worked on. Is Rex going to pick up yet another KO? And there's Blackbeard <laughs> trying to get the back cab ducats, but they are stepped, stopped right in the face by Overlord oh. as they get the points in. They're up by 335 to 303. That's a 32 point gap here as all of Aphelion is pressuring backwards into the face of Ascendance. And that boy Monk working on Zapdos. They get that 20 point lead with 8 seconds left. And now it's free reign to get these ducats in as our Treyu gets the points. And it's raining in. And I think Aphelion just took this one. Yeah, really incredible plays. Such good patience around the Zapdos. If you are in a game in those kind of late minute situations and you see that it is a tie game, the pressure escalates like crazy. But yet they are now able to uh, wait it out, take some really good team fights, keep that pressure on, and look at that. They're able to win by over 300 slam with a late Zapdos KO coming out of Blackbeard. And uh, coming out of Blackbeard and Muck. So really impressive play. We are now tied up at one apiece in terms of games. Our trio didn't have the highest damage output necessarily on the squad here, but was able to take up that MVP using the score shield, having the buddy barrier, having the attack weight, and just being greedy, able to rein mm -hmm. in over 200 plus points uh, and carry the team at least on the scoreboard as they allowed that boy muck to run wild you said they didn't have much smite ability and cinderace not necessarily <laughs> known for that uh but that boy muck cracked on the sticks kid they went ahead and sealed yeah. up quite a few objectives for a uh, it's like this and all right we're jumping into game we're seeing some of the picks uh and they're just working on locking those in right now so uh, I doubt we're going to see too much change, except I actually do see a couple. There we go. <laughs> okay, we're seeing a couple of swaps. These are locked in picks. Well, that doesn't mean too much in Pokemon Unite, unfortunately. Curios, why do you curse me like this? Uh, is instead going to be just running that Venusaur. Um, Red Love, uh, hovering that Dragonite. I would be shocked to see them not play the Venusaur. They have been a incredible Venusaur player. It is their signature hero. They got to make sure that they're on it, but I'm excited to see Excellence Mr. Mime, to be quite Absolutely. honest. That, that's that's a great one to pull out of the bag here at this stage of the game. Um, and hey, why not in game three, right? Throw it all on the mm -hmm. line. Um, if I'm understanding, if Goof's in the chat saying they're getting ready to, to head to the gym, I don't know if that means they won or lost. Maybe somebody in the chat can update us that. But my favorite part so far is that boy Muck queuing into the game and being live in the chat. You love to see it warm and fuzzies all over the plate. Uh, all over the place and of course they sent us a compliment ttv won so bmfb sent packing and ttv awaits in the finals taking a look mm -hmm. at what we've got going on here is that uh, our uh, our trio changing out the fit and matching the slow bro to boot <laughs> wow okay archie and rex just feeling the sunshine vibes gonna be going into this game that's a dangerous threat on the other side if i'm ascendance i'm i'm freaking out Red Love, of course, wearing that sunny day fit, and uh, Cryos going. Hey, I don't, I don't need any outfit to do my, do my workout here. <laughs> Bottom lane rolling through. They're skipping and they're taking the, the apoms that 
are relevant as they scamper to that contestable Audina. Yeah, that's true. You were mentioning, I think, and what I think the biggest change in is, oh, Blackbeard using that slow smoke again, but unfortunately, uh, well, actually, they were able to get that middle on row, so nice little advantage. Excellent running for their life. Has to eject button just to survive on super low HP, but they're going to try to pressure out and punish uh, Aphelion for their aggression. Aphelion not feeling too too concerned with the pressure backwards. It's excellent. He's getting bullied again. And can't, are they going to get chip shot out? Cryo's giving cover there with that Razor Leaf coming through. Rex getting eaten up with a Vine Whip, and now they're just getting crushed at. Uh, crushed yeah. at as Aphelion is slightly scampering away. They've got to feel pretty good about that exchange doing good level threes across the board we see that green is level four dat boy muck is five yeah speaking of which uh, one of the players on your screen right now big uzi is not normally on this ascendance roster but is one of the few players in the game that is kind of those multi-role like unsigned demons uh going up here for first beast very important for this dragonite needs to get those levels so that they can get closer to hyper beam Atreyu got a considerable amount of those as they're being worked on. Atreyu goes down. Uh, does open the gate a little bit for some points to go in. And Dapboy Muck going to try and hold it down as Overlord was able to get their points in. And now Dapboy Muck with the HP advantage. But Overlord, not a, not allergic to getting away, but not today, says Muck. As now we're back downstairs with Excellent and Mopwop. Mopwop still a Gossa Fleur as the Eldegoss is across the way. And um, Aphelion still pressuring very hard in that bottom lane. Oh yeah, they have the HP to do it, right? Their resource, uh, HP is always gonna be a resource and you can spend it whenever you want and Rex is able to do that. Uh, excellent, picking up that mime is a direct counter to Slowbro. Instead of uh, allowing that CC that like I said Slowbro doesn't care about, they're gonna go for some spike damage and try to allow for some pressure. But for that pressure to be really felt, they're gonna need some evolutions in this bottom lane to help them out. But right now, Aphelion is giving Ascendance no edge. The biggest thing they got going for them is going to be, uh, as well, Muck in the jungle. A huge damage to their quarter. I mean, if Rex is the shot caller, Rex has certainly played a slow bro into a Mr. Mime before, and I'm sure this <laughs> yeah. is part of their strategy. Hey, stem them from getting experience. Pressure, pressure, pressure. And that'll allow me to uh, put the pressure on through my slow bro uh, and really cut off that Mr. Mime, but look at this. Muck already in the action. Artreyu holding down the top lane as Rex is just posturing in the middle. Big Uzi coming through with the Dragonite, and that's going to be big spike damage. You want to talk about spike damage? How about that Dragon and the Hyper Beam in combination oh, yeah. with Excellent and that Barrier Confuse shot? They're going to be doling it out here if they can get the levels up to match. Yeah, only four seconds until Dreadnought as well. And wow, really nice rotation from Aphelion. The early pressure went over to Ascendance, absolutely, but then immediately was taken away as they just ran up the middle lane. Excellent again, taking so much range damage from Muck. Big Uzi on the verge. Big Uzi goes down to the uh, Venusaur, excuse me, the Ivysaur, and that boy Muck picking up a KO of two, and now that Dreadnought's basically free as Aphelion is able to just mow through it, and although the point disparity on the on the scoreboard is just one point, uh, they've got to be feeling good about that experience advantage that they just picked up. Our trio, not even there. They didn't even need them down there. They're still working through Rotom. Oh, no, but, nice. it's, but, it's plucked, but it's plucked by Overlord. Yeah, Overlord actually, as you can see on the screen right now, is opting into that E speed, and oh my word, it doesn't maybe heal as much, but that damage amount is still going to be incredible. So really nice maneuvers out of them. Excellent at level 7, really desperately wants to hit to that 8. Level 9 to unlock these uh, Unite move, where Mr. Mime can really shine. Big Uzi, though, as they're trying to do the same, wanting to get that ultimate online to get some nice scores, and maybe start putting this 40 points where they belong. Ascendance just a frog hair behind on experience here and they're gonna try and make it up on the bees as that hyper beam might have come through a little late I don't know how many of those big Uzi was able to capture here as Cryos is level 9 doing better than in game 2 at least as Overlord and Mopwop are trying to protect this goal zone But our trio is dunking in their face like Shaquille O'Neal can't stop them right now And the pressure's coming back on but they just let the squirrel get away because what exactly are you gonna do? But here's the support with Cryos and Muck and of course Rex coming through to pick up their part Partner, and Overlord just forced into the opposing jungle to get away, throwing a Bone Rush down and getting ready to just dart on back. Yeah, that Bone Rush hitting just the corner of that hitbox, the little invisible line, uh, so not going as far as they'd like, maybe for a getaway tool, but they're still awarded the getaway here. Excellent posturing very far forward, trying to get a little bit of intel, uh, but once they get it, decides to retreat back to the bush. Wanted to line up a really nice Psychic and Barrier combo to do a little bit of spike damage. 
Mop Wap, Big Uzi, and excellent. As you said, posturing her there early. Not really considering hiding for too much, but the action is getting kicked off. There's that wall, and that's Confusion Blast, as you mentioned. Overlord waiting to pick their uh, pick their moment here, and it's, they identify Red Love, and they're working through, and they're able to take them down. The dogs got bite as they're working through the Dreadnought, and now uh, Ascendance is all over it, and Rex is going to try to do some heroics here, maybe with Surfer, but the Hyper Beam's going to find it. It's our Triu! It's our Triu that seals it up, and now Blackbeard's taking KO on the Mr. Mind, the Cotton Ball not being the one to to be left without flexing here as Overlord is trying to pick up their squad and it's an absolute chaos downstairs as Red Love's picking up the KOs and so is Muck and they just wiped out the entire team. KO streak a two for Red Love and I'll tell you what, Aphelion is feeling it. Yeah, another amazing mid-fight call coming out of Aphelion. They actually were it had to retreat. All the presence, Overlord cleared so much space for Ascendance, but they had to run back. Their health bars couldn't take it anymore. But with that Greedent Steel, they get that little bit of barriers, as well as the healing out of the Tier 1 goal zone, allows them to charge back in and turn a losing situation with a nice little steal into an incredible situation and gives them a huge EXP buff. There you go. The Rotom is sent the way of Ascendance, so they're going to have to play a little defense on that as our trio is getting chased down by Overlord. Look at them darting back and forth, and they're finally taken by Rex with those Surfs coming through in combination with that boy Muck. But Red Love doing work downstairs, eating up a Dragonite. Just the Dragon is no match for the Dinosaur, and Red Love is slowly just pushing this level lead here as a Felion, I can't stress it enough, is just feeling good. Blackbeard on top of their ship, looking at the mast and feeling good about their position as they're seeing the horizon, which holds a victory, I think, for a Felion right now. Yeah, Rex in a little bit of trouble here, has the potion to give them that nice health boost. Uh, and excellent finally picking up a KO in the bot lane as well, but able to defend that top tier goal zone. And now we're putting in a ton of scores. All of a sudden, this game doesn't feel like Aphelion's done and dusted anymore. Now uh, Ascendance has the points lead and is able to be putting on a lot more pressure. Maybe just waiting for this late game to really turn on the gas. Absolutely. Picking your spots. It's a 10-minute game, and you have to play all 10 minutes to perfection if you want to leave with some wins in these high-stakes tournaments against high and powerful and strong opponents. Rex and Blackbeard alone on the Dreadnought. They're chipping in. They're going to do a little work. Here comes Muck and our trio to give some support, as it doesn't look like Ascendance is really interested in taking any of this right now. They're able yes. to get the shields. They're able to get the experience, but all of Ascendance is getting ready to posture around Zapdos. Yeah, this has been kind of Ascendance's MO, giving up this last Dreadnought when they know they're not in an amazing team fight situation. Maybe Overlord just opting in to do a little bit of farm, desperately wanting to get that 13. Also, I just learned I can free cam. Holy smokes. Okay, anyway, <laughs> big spectator learning, but we're back into the game. We're back into the game as Aphelion has postured around the Zapdos, and it looks like uh, that boy is chipping into it already. Only about 10% of the HP gone, but here comes Ascendance moving as a unit all on the top of the screen. Overlord coming through the bottleneck here, and Overlord going to try and identify somebody, and that's our Triu. Are they going to work? But the Belches are coming out, and the, all the Unite moves are kicking off, and we're working through as Axelon has to use their Night move just to bail Overlord getting chewed up on, and that's a big KO by Mach on Overlord, and and we're working through here as more HP bars are going down but are covered by the buddy barrier. Hyper Beam just misses Blackbeard. Blackbeard's still up and still only one player down. Finally, that's to the dominoes. They're falling like dominoes on Ascendance here. Four down for Ascendance and they're going to try and take care of Big Uzi as the rest of Aphelion works on Zapdos and now they're all about getting the points in. Can Red Love close out Big Uzi? They decide to just get their hundo banger straight buckets as that boy Muck is going to close out that second tier bottom goal zone and the pressure's coming in up top as Rex going to get their hundo banger in confirmed and now they're working through as overlord is going to try and rein in these ko's because they're going to have to start swinging this pendulum back into the face of aphelion only 40 seconds left in the game and a 400 point difference between these teams if ascendance wants to do anything they need to get a ko on the entire aphelion roster that's going to be the only way they ever pick up enough farm overlord starting out okay but there is a little too much of a mountain to climb and the surrender comes in from ascendance Congratulations to Aphelion on a game well played, and they're going to find themselves in the Grand Finals versus TTV. Let's take a look at how the points exactly shook out this one uh, after the concession here. And of course, we'll go to the battle data real quick. If you don't mind sticking on that KO and assist screen for me, Zoinks, once we get there here. 
Let's take a look at these numbers. Oh, Muck was shredding, man. I mean, and then Overlord, of course, is just always putting up numbers. It does not matter if they only scored 10 points on their side of the team. Overlord is always going to be throwing hands. So a really impressive performance, but wasn't en uh, enough to be able to get the win here. Incredible performance out of Ophelia. One, since we have this screen up right here, something I want to mention is the teamwork. Uh, and you can see that in the way of the assists here. 10, 6, 6, 6, 8. Everybody in the mix for Aphelion. They are, have each other's back and are working together. And uh, for some reason, Ascendance just having a little bit of di difficulty coalescing in those team fights. Uh, less assists, maybe more one on one action. Uh, but this is a team game, and Aphelion is able to find a way to win two on the hop to take it down. Let's jump back to the booth here, Zoinks. As we know, TTV is now sitting in the finals waiting for Aphelion.